New Orleans is a party year round. It's colorful music, unique foods, and memorable characters. But the day before Lent, the party goes supernova. Mardi Gras, the annual celebration here in New Orleans is like no other. The atmosphere is electric. You would never know that this used to be swampland and that we are standing below sea level. For engineers, New Orleans is much more than jazz and beats. It's an infrastructure wonder of levees, floodgates, and pumps the city depends on to stay dry. The levee system is an ecosystem that helps to protect the overall city of New Orleans. So roughly 635,000 people are protected behind that system with billions of dollars worth of assets. After the destruction of Hurricane Katrina, New Orleans began to reinforce its defenses. In 2022, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers completed what's called the Great Wall of New Orleans. The 130 mile long hurricane and storm damage risk reduction system is the largest project of its kind in U.S. history. For Joey Coco, founder of Digitwin Global, these physical defenses are just the beginning. The future lies in digitizing infrastructure through data and digital twins. It's a revolutionary approach that allows experts to stay on top of climate change and serve residents and the economy. There's gonna be a tremendous benefit to society by having all of this information compiled into one space to where every stakeholder has the possibility to interact with the twin. To maximize this benefit, digital twins must integrate geospatial engineering and other data regardless of format. This collaborative approach doesn't just solve today's problems. It's opening doors to tomorrow's innovations. The future of digital twins is gonna be what you can do with the data. So from machine learning to AI, all the potential that's gonna come out of that, once you have all the data compiled into one space, it's just gonna be unbelievable. This vision is already a reality at the 17th Street Canal pump station. Using drones, LiDAR, and advanced software from Bentley Systems, engineers created a digital twin that predicts maintenance needs and reduces flood risks. Bentley's Dustin Parkman says this technology makes cities more resilient. But digital twins with a combination of survey data, geospatial information, even 3D tiles, gives you this canvas of how you can essentially digitally replicate existing infrastructure. Whether it's 94 years old or 150 years old, it doesn't really matter. The idea of digital twins originated nearby at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility, where engineer John Vickers helped coin the term. These virtual models of physical reality are scalable to entire cities. Originally, uh, our idea for the digital twin was just to solve problems that we had uh, in manufacturing and product life cycle development, but then it's just grown to so much more. He believes that digital twins can help us combine powerful trends, including massive amounts of diverse data, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and virtual reality. Those technologies are gonna be our future. And at some point, we've got to integrate all that information. And that's what the digital twin does. This integration of technologies isn't just about systems connecting. It's about connecting people. Everybody is a stakeholder whenever you can digitize the real world. From the public, to operators, to engineers, to executives, everyone is a stakeholder. And everyone's gonna have a unique value that they get from a digital twin. From concrete to the cloud, digital twins are changing how we respond to emergencies, protect our cities, and make them more resilient. And Louisiana is one of the states leading the way. Tomasz Kellner, Bentley Systems. <laughs>